Hey YouTube, can you tell how fast this chain is moving, or even the direction in which it's moving? It looks like it's moving slowly in one direction, but the marker moves very quickly in the other. This is a result of temporal aliasing, more commonly known as the wagon wheel effect. The wagon wheel effect occurs when you're looking at a periodic phenomena, in this case the movement of the chain. The frame rate and the amount that the chain moves is very close. In every frame, the chain advances just less than the width of one pair of links. This means that every frame, it appears that the chain has moved, but only slightly less than one link in the reverse direction. To more clearly demonstrate this, I've set up my camera to take a picture every 50 seconds while looking at a mechanical watch. This will make it look like the second hand is moving backwards in 10 second intervals, while the minute hand will be moving forward. This is similar to what was happening with the chain. While the chain appeared to be moving backwards, it's only because the camera was taking pictures at an interval very close to the amount of time it took for the chain to move forwards a single link. A much more interesting example of this is spinning an object at very high speed while filming it with a very small shutter speed. Here at several points the ring appears to come to a complete stop. This is because the ring is making a complete revolution in the time it takes for the camera to take a single frame. With a very short shutter speed this frame is not blurred and it appears as if the ring is standing still. If you use a very long shutter speed however the image of the ring will be blurred because the camera will be taking a long picture using the entire interval of 1 30th of a second to take in light data from the image. Another good example of this is looking at a drill chuck. I start with an exposure of about 1 60th of a second and then decrease it until it's about 1 1000th of a second at which point the drill chuck appears to be moving at a different speed than it actually is. This is temporal aliasing. This is seeing a signal that is different than the actual signal you're trying to observe because of the settings of the device that you're trying to use to measure that signal. Although interesting to look at, this can be quite problematic if you're trying to record data from an experiment. Here we're looking at some water being vibrated in the cone of a speaker. In a moment I will decrease the shutter speed to the point where temporal aliasing is very apparent. The water actually appears to wiggle in sheets, starting at the top and moving towards the bottom. This is very interesting, but it's not what's happening. This is a result of rolling shutter and temporal aliasing. If you were trying to learn something about this, this would be data that would not be useful, as you're seeing something that's not really there, only an artifact of the way that you were making your measurements. As a final example, Here's a 60 hertz sine wave being filmed at 30 frames per second. With a relatively long exposure we can see most of the signal and we can see two bright spots where the uh, flying dot shows on the screen. As I decrease the shutter speed, however, we no longer see the long trail of the signal. We only see the position of the dot where it is on the screen at that particular moment in time. If you were trying to sample this with some other kind of equipment that was also working at 30 Hz, you wouldn't be able to tell that there was a sine wave in this signal, only that there are a pair of points that are always at the same magnitude or voltage relative to each other. This would result in data that was not only not useful, it would actually look like a completely different signal. If you were to extrapolate, it would just appear to be a, a single line that would move up and down. The wagon wheel effect, or temporal aliasing, can be seen anywhere that you have periodic sampling of data and a periodic kind of data. Whether it's a strobe light and a spinning wheel, or a camera and a moving chain, you'll be able to see this kind of thing all over. Keep your eyes open for temporal aliasing. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.